I don't know what to say, Tom, so this is your show, buddy. Okay, well, <laughs> I'd like to talk about uh, some updates to the Super Santanas. Yep. Not so much updates as, 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 as fooling around. You know, you, you have this stuff, you're a hobbyist, and you mess with it. Yep. And right now, the Super Santana, uh, with, the, with the addition of the uh, chokes that uh, Queen discovered, and the addition of the uh, ScanSpeak uh, tweeter, I think we have a complete system there yeah. with excellent performance, and I'm going to show a graph that I took with a uh, it's, it's a simple thing uh, done with uh, my iPad with it with a uh, with an app, but it shows uh, the frequency response. And, and, yeah, with the scan speak, it's extended and it has a nice blend through through the crossover. Now the bass doesn't look too good, but that's a room thing. You never can get reliable bass measurements with a simple system yeah. like I'm using. The bass is, is good. But some other things uh, that uh, I've been messing around with uh, is using uh, a big, uh, you know, one-inch uh, high-quality compression, compression drivers. drivers. So I, I bought this pair of uh, JBL 2425 compression drivers on... Oh, was it a 2370 horn? Yep. Which, uh, some people say it's not a good horn for hi-fi. Some people say it is. 2370A horn. Yeah. This thing is heavy. And I, and I bought these uh, on reverb from an outfit called Fuzz Audio in uh, Colorado. And they came as described. They look like, uh, like new. In fact, they're, they're, uh, the, the foam pads inside haven't deteriorated and turned into dust. So okay. they're not very old and they're in excellent condition. And I've been messing around with these and then I've been messing around with the uh, Altec 8028T, which is the same as the 8028G, but with a loading cap over the diaphragm so that they could use it at higher uh, higher power in, in theaters and cross it over 500 cycles. But these have radian uh, drivers in them. Uh, radian diaphragms, yep. Radian diaphragms, and, and it's on uh, an Altec Mandarin horn, the same horn that's in the Model 14. So I've been playing around with both of these and just using an existing crossover that works <laughs> with the with the scan speed. And I'm just plugging them in, but I, I, I'm using the uh, Altec uh, voicing the, the 903, 90, the uh, Altec Equal, equalization circuit. Equalization circuit that drags down the mid range and extends the highs. And this is a 16 ohm driver. This is an 8 ohm driver. Hmm. I'm using the same stuff, you know, it shouldn't work good. But you can see the results that um, I'm getting a pretty flat and extended response with the uh, JBL. And I'm showing you the JBL right now, and you can see it, it's, it's too high. It needs to be padded down. But the, the response is pretty good. Yeah. And then with the Altec, and I'm going to show the Altec now, the, the response is also pretty good and also needs to be, needs padded, to be padded down. down. Now the thing is that, that if I it, it use these, then I, 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 use, I lose the top of the speaker cabinets for bric-a-brac, you know, pictures of my grandkids and, <laughs> and, and you know, my little gold fish that I got, uh, and, gold uh, fish I got in St. Augustine, you know. And you mess up the decor. But. I mess up the decor because these things are sitting on the, on the top there, you know. Uh, but essentially, Tom, what you, get, you turn these speakers into is a variant of the Model 15. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, and you also up the price of the speaker substantially because these compression drivers and horns are not cheap. They're not cheap. Now, so. I, I paid 320 plus shipping for the pair of uh, compression yeah, yeah. drivers and horns, and that's a good price. The 2425 uh, JBL compression driver is, is a top shelf uh, one inch compression driver. It's, it's the ferrite version of the, of the 2420. And it has a titanium diaphragm in it, and some people don't like the titanium diaphragms, but I've used these before, and I think the titanium diaphragm sounds okay. It, it sounds good. You know, I wouldn't uh, throw them away and, and spend $100 for radians, <laughs> you know. I mean, I can, I can use them. And now if they blow, then I'll get radians or aluminums, but yeah. they're fine. So, 
Yeah. And, and uh, so anyway, that's you know. So you think we'll do a, a follow up recording with the, these horns on top of your Santanas? No. Um, Maybe. When I get them padded down, nothing's going to happen until after New Christmas. Year's and all yeah, that. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm using the speakers, uh, you know, with Christmas decorations and stuff. You know, like a little little porcelain Christmas tree that lights up. And, yep. You know, so when, when, when the holidays are over, then I can then I can mess around. But it's something to do. You yeah, know how yeah. it is. Uh, Audio files are never happy. <laughs> right. You're always going to mess around. And, uh... That's where that is. Yep. The, the Santana saga will continue. All right.